Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ryan. I'm glad you guys are here. We're on episode two of the series where we are working on our Whipple Supercharger cooling system on our 1967 Chevy 2. So, in the first episode, we laid out our game plan, figured out what we want to do, showed you guys what we have currently. And in this episode, we are going to start the fabrication on the tank, which I like to call the box. So, let's jump right in. All right, box placement. So let's take a look here. We've got this big flat spot on the back firewall right here. And this is kind of where that box is gonna sit. So right at the back of the motor, we'll put it on this flat spot, just down below the lip there. And it'll just mount up, give it a good, nice, solid mounting point. Be back here out of the way. It'll be black, hopefully it blends in. Um, be understated and just kind of look okay back there I think so that's what we're gonna do so let's go take a look at how we make this custom box so we've got the tools laid out here and what we're gonna need we're gonna mark out this aluminum to start building the template to create the box and basically this box we're gonna do two pieces out of aluminum and there'll be three sides each. So one will be, let's see, we'll probably do the top, the front, and the bottom on one piece of aluminum. So we'll measure the distance, and then we'll do the sides and the back on the other piece. And we'll cut out a square and then bend it in the break to get the shape we need. So with this box, the rough shape of it here is about seven inches by four inches and then it's also four inches deep so seven by four inches deep by four inches tall so what we need is to create one piece of aluminum for the top side the front face and then the bottom so it's a pretty easy piece right so we've not we know we've got four inches that we need we know we've got another four inches we need and we know that the bottom is also going to be four inches so we've got a 12 inch length that we need we also know that it's seven inches wide so we need a 12 inch by seven inch piece of aluminum that we can then bend into the three sides that we need so that'll probably be the first piece I mark out uh, and it should work really well on this piece of aluminum because this scrap I found is exactly 12 inches so that's perfect that means one of the sides is already cut to length which is exactly what we need so basically we know we've already got the 12 inch so we're just gonna measure off 7 inches draw a line and that'll be our first piece then we can bend it into the three sides we need. Uh, and then we will measure out the other piece and mark that off. I'll go ahead and mark both of them off on this aluminum. And then after we get them marked off, both of them exactly what we need, then we'll go through and we'll cut them. So let's give that a go. Hey, 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 hey. what's here? up? What's going on, guys? Come on. We had some visitors stop by the shop. <laughs> Coming to check it out today. Yeah, there's mad fabrication going on. There. Mad fabrication, that's right. We're just talking to the camera here, laying out some aluminum, getting ready to mark off our lines here to build this custom box. So, what you guys been up to today? Car show. Car show? Yeah. Cool. Did you guys take the Camaro out? Mm -hmm. All right. Fun times. We'll have to go up there and take a little look at it. Good weather. All right, Forrest is leaving with his helpers here. They've been out, hit a little car show this morning. And then stop by the shop here just to check out the projects. So rolling out in his 73 Camaro here. Rally Sport, getting the kids strapped in. Looking good. It's got a little 383 in it. it sounds really good. All right, see you, buddy. All right. All right, 
so Forrest and his helpers just took off. So we'll get back down in the shop here and see if we can't go ahead and cut this. I've got all the lines laid out now. So now we can just go ahead and take the grinder and just cut the pieces we need. And then, uh, then we'll move up and we'll drill them and then bend them. So let's go ahead and cut them, see if we can get that done. here turned out pretty well and what we've got is a 4 inch by 15 inch piece so we'll be able to take these two and bend them up drill some holes in them and turn them into our new tank so looking pretty good so far I'm gonna take the grinder and clean up the edges now because we've got a lot of slag here on the edge where we just kind of cut through it so I'll take the dry grinder clean it up a little bit and then uh, then we'll go drill some holes all right, I've got everything laid out here. Uh, I went ahead and drew my lines where I want to make the bends. So I've got all four lines drawn there. I know which way I want to bend them so that we can get everything to fit together. And then I've kind of got laid out here where we're going to drill some holes. So we'll drill a hole for this inlet tube We'll drill a hole for the radiator fill cap. We'll drill a hole for the exit, exit tube here. And then that's kind of where our, our little logo is going to be sitting. Um, so just kind of laying it out. Now I'm just going to mark the spots where I want these holes. And then we can go up to the drill press and drill them out. And just make sure we've got it exactly how we want it. So that once we drill the holes, then we can bend it. It's going to be a lot easier to drill the holes before you bend the metal. Um, well, you still got everything in a flat sheet here. So, all right, let's drill some holes. So here we go. Got it set up here on the drill press. And we've got our first piece on here. And we're going to drill the small hole first for the one of our outlet bungs that we're going to weld on. So this is actually the outlet one. And we've got it marked here. And I've got this stepped drill bit in here. So we're going to get down and we're going to get it to the three-quarter size hole. So we'll go ahead and do this one with this drill bit then we'll do the one that'll be on the side for the other bone we're going to weld on and then we'll come back and switch drill bits to a bigger one and we'll go do this hole for the top. Um, so we'll have to swap out for that. Got the next one set up here same thing we're going to go ahead and run this down in here to the three quarter step and get this hole drilled for the side of the tank all right so we've got it all strapped in so let's do it swap this drill bit out and go ahead and do the top bigger hole that's going to be for the radiator fill there. So let's swap this out and get that next hole drilled. Alright, so we've got it set up here on the drill, drill press. We swapped out the drill bit. So this is going to be for the larger radiator fill neck. Okay, So we're going to run this down in here on this one. I'm not concerned about stopping in a certain step because the hole I need is actually the size of the drill bit. So we're going to run it all the way through here. So not quite as nervous about this one. Just make sure we hold it square and, uh, and run it down through here smooth. So let's fire this drill press up and drill it out. Alright, 
so we've got the holes drilled now so let's take a look at it here oh yeah there we go so this is what our little setup looks like please ignore this down here I know some of y'all are probably saying yes that is disgusting but I have not cleaned up in here in a while clearly so we have got the hole drilled so we just you can see this step bit here we just ran that joker down through here and we have got our sheet now with two holes so we can see we're going to bend this kind of away from the camera here at the top uh, and that'll be the top section where the radiator fill neck will be and then down here this is going to be the front and that is going to be where this outlet bung is so if we take our little radiator cap there we can see it's kind of going to look something like that and then if we take one of our bungs fits perfectly in the hole right there so that'll be on the front we'll have our little logo right here this will fold away that'll be the top then over here this is going to end up being on kind of the side of the tank if you can imagine it folding like towards the camera and then that bone will be in there pointed out kind of underneath where that one would be so these things fit in here really good um, if I can hold this up with one hand I will show you you can see there how that um, fitting goes right in the hole uh, so we'll be able to weld that on there the whole thing is going to get tigged together so we'll weld these around the edge around the perimeter and that'll be on there same thing for this one here we'll weld around the perimeter and then same thing with this one we can weld it around the perimeter here and fasten it to the top of the tank so super pleased these step drill bits had these forever uh, so it came in super handy so the next thing to do on this little project is just bend make our bends a couple 90 degree bends on this one a couple 90 degree bends on this one and then these two pieces will come together to make a tank so let's go do some bending all right guys closed up shop got the metal got my stuff we're gonna run over to southeast speed shop so Trent's got a couple sheet metal brakes over there. So I'm gonna jump in the Dodge, head over there, and either borrow one of them or just go ahead and bend this stuff up over there. We'll see. What's up, man? All right. Trent's got the sheet metal brake. We need to do a little bending action. So the man of many tools. Too many. Too many tools. I don't think can, I don't think that's a thing. Nah, uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right. Well, we're gonna haul it back. We don't have enough space. The space, yes, space can be a constraint. All right. Let's throw this thing back here and strap it down. All right. We're back with the brake. We're gonna strap it to the cabinet and we'll bend it right here. All right. So I've got it cinched down on here now. Threw the metal in there, put this piece over it, clamp it down. We've got the actual brake clamped down to the workbench. So we will give it a bend. So we're going to try and bend this side up and bend this side up. I've put up on it just so I know which way I'm going. Uh, so let's give it a go. We're going to try and get a 90 degree angle here. Hopefully this seam doesn't crack and break. Um, 50-52 aluminum, so hopefully it'll do okay. So we'll see. We'll take it slow here. Let's see how it goes. Starting to bend. We'll just push. Keep going. Bending. So we just don't want it to snap. If it does, it does. But let's try not to. Alright, so 
that looks pretty darn good. So let's see, you got the speed square here. That's uh that's pretty dang square right there. I'm digging it. Alright, we'll throw that down. Let's get this off. And we'll switch it around. There is the first part of our box. Oh man, I'm digging it. This thing's gonna be sick. Alright, so let's do the same thing on the other piece. Alright you guys, check this out. I am super stoked. This thing turned out awesome. We've got our outlet, we've got our inlet, we've got our fill area here. So basically we'll have the fill cap on top. Bam! We're going to have one bung there, the other bung there. This thing's going to be sick. Alright, be sure to check out episode 3 of this series because we are going to get the tank welded up. We're going to visit the powder coater and hopefully get the thing completely installed. So looking forward to that. So that's a wrap for this episode. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for us. It really helps us out. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of what we're doing here. And uh, we will check you guys out next time for episode 3 of this series. Alright, see you guys later.